hello guys welcome back to my channel this is shades of Monday. today i'll be creating a very nice party flyer also creating a very nice party party flyer for it for you guys to use so i like i always do i always try and you know get you to check out my videos you know different videos different free, free psd files for you to get you know they are all free as you can see these are quality psds they are all free just subscribe and um, keep using for your projects you know you can see different ones here sports you know to sports to to um text effects to social media posts to stock images to uh, payment payment plan payment and um, bitcoin and everything it's all on this platform so please subscribe and watch my videos so today i'll be working on a very simple party flyer as you can see let, so let me create a new page and show you how i got all this on your keyboard just press ctrl n on your keyboard with the page size 1080 by 1350 so i'll be copying and pasting everything and everything i used here so this is the background i got i, I got on, on pinterest i'll be creating and i'll be copying and pasting it here straightforward ctrl v and also this is the background i got online also and you would apply the same method copy and pasting often times you see my flyers you feel like okay this this thing, this, this thing is very very simple but when do you when you finish everything you, you realize that it's a very very simple and fun and fun uh, design to do so i'll breaking this down to you breaking this down oh sorry i think i copied the wrong the wrong file okay yeah Ctrl C, Ctrl C, and Ctrl V. Now let me explain this to you. If you see, if I remove, if I delete this, you can see it's not looking, looking, it's not looking the way I want it to look. So what I did was to create this. I should add this mask, this layer mask here on my keyboard. On my keyboard, I can on my, on this layer on this side here, sidebar here, I can click on gradient two. With my foreground color set to black i will gently brush like this gently brush you know just walk around just make this place transparent then like i always do i always work on my images you know i had different effects on my images to make it pop so let's bring this bring in this image here let's paste this image here you can see so you can decide to put it any any way you want to put it. It's very simple and straightforward. Now what I what I will do next is to create a new layer like this. As you can see, that my keep my gradient is set. My color is set to black. I'll click on this gradient tool right here, and I'll gently brush this up like this. So get something like this. You can even reduce it like you can even reduce something like this. You know, just to get a preferred um the preferred ratio aspect ratio so what i do what, what i what i will do next is to you know as you, can, as you can see this is a text effect this is a text effect you can see i got this online this is a text effect i got online so i will just copy it and paste it so you can edit this text you you see the text you can edit edit edit, edit the text you can edit the color also to, to get different different designs so I would above this, I would control V to paste it. Oh, sorry, I think I copied it again to paste this rather. Yes, so you can control T to transform, you know, you can place this up like this. Let's place this this way. Let's place this like this, yes, yeah, something like this. Let's bring down this lady's this lady image a little bit. Something like this. Yes. This image let's reduce a little bit. Bring her down a little bit. Yes, yeah, something like this. Let's try this. Now this um gradient overlay here you can reduce it bring it down also you can bring this down well something like this you can still get your desired choice so you bring in 
this um, text effect, this text also, bring in your text, your preferred text, control V to paste it, I'm sorry, let me paste it above, you can move your text around, make it very simple and straightforward, you know, you don't need to, to, to make it look too busy, bring this like this also, so I'll be dropping the PSD file for you guys to use for your projects. You can change it, you know, work on different things to get your preferred uh, preferred uh, choice. So I always try and make this design very, very simple and straightforward for you guys to use something like this, yeah, something like this. So you can work with this too, these vibes here. Okay, let me move this. Remove this, I think. This has to be removed. Yes, yes. So you can bring these vibes like this. Do, do let me paste the vibe, these vibes there. So this font is autograph, autograph personal font, size 49. Then I added drop shadow. You cannot, you, you can even decide not to add drop shadow because it's, it's a black background. You can add your stuff to it, so you can add different, different, different stuff to it. So it's very simple and straightforward. You can see this text here, different text. You know, I created this shape. You can add the shape to it to make it pop a little bit. So it's very simple and straightforward. So if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thank you.